Welcome back to the channel ladies and gentlemen. I'm back at it with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the MAF and the mass air the MAF and the MAP sensor. They're the same sensor so if you ever get confused about that just look it up it'll tell you they're ex the exact same sensor. They are in one sensor but they serve two different purposes. As you can tell it's right there. You're going to need a T20 for this. I'm going to go ahead and pop open the hood. Okay. And this will be located up under this rear co uh, engine cover panel. You'll just lift your fingers and pop up both sides. And then set it to the side. And it's located right here. As you can tell, there's two T20 star bits, star bit bolts, screws, whatever you want to call it. Also, make sure that if you think you lost that little grommet right there that goes inside there that helps it stick to this, make sure to look on the actual thing because it could be still stuck on there. It happens to me all the time. But uh, this is the MAF and the MAP sensor. It's, it's like I said a while ago, it's, it's a two-in-one sensor. I'm gonna go over here and get it. Just to show you, just to show you. It's a OEM Bosch, so it's a good brand. I got it for pretty cheap. And uh so we're gonna go ahead and get that old one out. Okay, and set the plug to the side. trusty tools set the sensor right there and then open up my tools by the way if you want this you can go to Walmart and get it for 30 bucks it's got all kinds of uh, star bits torch bits uh, drill bits <laughs> pretty much everything you would need for this kind of car except the triple square so uh i can't i don't know how to leave the link yet and i will find out how to do that and as soon as i'm able to i will make another video and leave all the links to all the parts i have replaced and everything that is my promise to you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and try to find the ah here we are <laughs> and it's already got one in it <laughs> So I ain't gotta use my new one. So the T20 star bit, you'll go over here, and you'll turn it the other way. And these bolts should come out really easy. Make sure you don't lose them because you're going to need them. And this will come out really easily. That's the old one. It was probably on there the entire time. Never have been changed. I'm going to get this new one out and stick it in its place. I don't know why my screen is doing that. Maybe if I set it down, y'all can read this. Okay. I don't know why it does that when I'm holding it, but uh, that's the part number if y'all want to get this part number and uh, order y'all one. I got this from uh, ECS Tuning. It's a great company. And I also got this as I did in my previous video from uh, FCP. Both of them are great, great companies. 
guys. So y'all use them. So we're gonna go ahead and start by putting the T20 screws back in. Make sure you're gonna have this snug. If not, you're gonna have problems down the road. And I'm pretty sure with these kind of vehicles, you're not gonna want to have that issue. Go to the other side. Okay, then we'll grab our connector and plug it right back in. Okay. And guys, that's how you replace the MAP and the MAP airflow sensor. And uh, it's really easy, honestly. You don't have to take this to a dealer or anything. You can literally do it yourself. It only takes about maybe five, 10 minutes. If y'all like this video and if y'all think it was helpful, please leave a comment and like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know what you think about all my previous videos and if there's anything I need to improve on any of them. And uh, hopefully, once I get enough subscribers, I will have my merch out. But I'm not going to start having that out until I'm over at least a thousand. But uh, y'all have a nice day. Y'all keep watching my videos. Keep making me proud. I love y'all guys.